You came, sir, to this country in 1965, as I said, on instructions or orders given you by your spiritual master. By the way, who was your spiritual master? My spiritual master was Om Vishnupad, Paramahansa, Bhaktisiddhanta Saraswati, Goshani, Prabhupada. Now, in this line of succession that we were talking about earlier, this disciplic line of, of succession, which goes way back, all the way back to Krishna, Krishna himself, right? Was your spiritual master the previous yeah. one before you? Uh, yes, no. Uh, yes, the disciplic succession is coming from Krishna in 5,000 years. Is your spiritual master still alive? No. He has passed in 1936. So you are at this particular time then sort of the, the head in the world of this movement? Would that be correct? Uh, I have got many other god brothers, but uh, I was particularly ordered to do this and from the very beginning. Uh, so I am trying to uh, please my spiritual master. Mm -hmm. Now, you were sent to to this country, to the United States of America. This is your territory, is that correct? Yeah. And I, I, my territory, uh, what he said, that you go and uh, speak this philosophy to the English name public. As to the English speaking world. Uh, yes, mm -hmm. and, and uh, speci especially in the Western world. Yes, he told me that. When you came, sir, to this country uh, about 15, 16 years ago and started... No, no, not 15, 16 years. Uh, five, six years ago, yeah, I beg your yeah, pardon. Yeah. To this part of the world, you did not come to a part of the world where religion was lacking as such. You know, in the United States of America, we have many religions. And, and I think people in this country like to believe in great majority that they are religious people, people who believe in God, you know, who devote themselves to some form of, of religious expression. Yeah. And I wonder what your thinking was. What do you think that you could add to the already living religious expression in this country by coming here and adding your own philosophy to it. Yes. When I first came to your country, I was guest of an Indian friend at Butler. In yes. Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. Yes. So uh, although it was a small county, I was very much in Gladden. There were so many churches. So many churches. Yes, yes. 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 So many churches. And I spoke in many of the churches there, my host arranged for that. So um, it was not with that purpose that I came here to defeat some religious process. That was not my purpose. Our mission is, Lord Chaitanya's mission is to teach everyone how to love God. That's all. But in, in what way, sir, may I ask, in, in, in what way did you think and do you think right now that the, the teaching of the love of God, which you are doing, is different and perhaps better than the teachings of the love of God, which already were being conducted yes. in this country yes. and have been conducted in the Western world for, for centuries? That is fact. Because... Uh, we are following the footsteps of Lord Chaitanya. He is considered, he is accepted by us according to the authority of Vedic literature. He is personally Krishna. Which Lord is that? Uh, it's Lord Chaitanya. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Lord Chaitanya. He, he is the one who came back 500 years ago? Yeah, yes. To India? India, mm -hmm. yes. So, he is Krishna himself. And he is teaching how to love Krishna. Therefore, his process is more authorized. Just like you are the expert in this uh, establishment, 
if somebody is doing something, if you personally teaching, you do like this. That is very authorized. So, God consciousness, God Himself is teaching. That's why in Bhagavad Gita, Krishna is God. He is speaking about Himself. And at last He says, Just surrender unto me, I take charge. But people misunderstand. So Lord Chaitanya, Krishna again came as Lord Chaitanya to teach people how to surrender. And because we are following the footsteps of Lord Chaitanya, the method is so sublime that even foreigners who never knew Krishna, they are surrendering. The method is so uh, potent. So that was my purpose. We don't say that uh, this religion is better than this religion or my process is better. We want to see by the result. In the Sanskrit there is a word, falena parichyate. The thing is judged by the result. The thing is just by, by the result. Oh, yes. Mm-hmm. You can say, I can say, my method is very nice. You can say, your method is very nice. But we have to judge by the result. That is, Bhagavad says that that process of religion is very good, following which one becomes a lover of God. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. 